So, um, I was able to improve my time on Tube Highway, and, uh, now the question of whether Sub-13 is possible has gone from pretty sure to, uh, I have proof. So yeah, uh, let me just, uh, let me just show that. Uh, that would be this RREC file. Uh, thankfully, you know, thanks to Hi Guy for sending me this RREC, I, I don't know, maybe I should be just automatically recording them on my end, but it's nice of the, uh, it's nice of the leaderboards to do that for you once you get a world record. So, uh, without further ado, here's my sub-13 run. And that's a 12,930. So you'll notice it's not really different from from the uh, from the previous run. Like like here, let me show really quickly. Let, let me just replay the uh, the the 13068 I recorded, and you'll notice it looks about the same. Well, the first thing you probably notice is that it looks like an old film because that's a post processing effect I added. Um, so so you see, I you know sort of jump do like okay so. I really shouldn't have been talking about the shader. I should have been talking about the run, uh, but, but right. So 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 let's let's see that thirteen oh six eight again, just just for one second. And so you'll see what happens is I, I tilt the camera a little bit. I'm jumping down the pipe. I go down the left pipe, build up speed, bonk against that pipe, and then I essentially do the equivalent of like a loop exit on the left side and then on the right side so that I can hit that pipe next to the finish and just bounce straight in. And if you look at the, the sub-13 run, you'll notice it's basically the same run, just a little bit faster. I don't tilt the camera quite as much at the start, which is interesting. Um, then here I'm going down the pipe, bonk off of that pipe, do a loop exit off the, the right side. Oh, hold on one second. Is it the right side both times? Because if so, that's probably what makes the difference. Um, yeah, I know I'm like digging in deep and sort of analyzing this, but yeah, I tilt the camera a little bit more there. And going down here, I hit that. And then, yeah, I exit off of the left side and then the right side like that. Whereas in the, uh, in the sub-13 run, what that looks like is a little bit different. I literally just noticed this. I wasn't even planning to mention it in this in this video, but yeah, you, you hear it here, it's going down this pipe. I, I'm keeping the camera a little bit closer to forward, which you'd think would hurt me. And yeah, see, I, I do an exit off the right side both times. So I guess that's the secret? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So uh, yeah. Um, Will I keep grinding to try to improve my time even further? I honestly have no idea at this point. It'd be a little bit pointless, because, like, what would the next impressive thing be? Sub-12? I'm not going to get sub-12. I was really lucky to get sub-13. Um, I mean, sub-12 might be possible. Honestly, I'd conjecture that it's not. Who knows? Um, regardless, what I do know is that... Um, well, well, what I don't even know is, is whether I want to keep grinding this, you know, because because I could still improve the time. I'm sure there are a few more milliseconds to be shaved off, but I don't really know whether I want to go through the effort. But in any case, uh, this run will go on, and let's just watch it one more time for for old times' sake. This This run... I think is going to stay the world record for a little bit. It's interesting that the bouncing sound doesn't play a couple of times there. Right there. And man, that is just smooth right there at the end. So yeah. Uh, I guess that's about all I have to say. Have a good day, everybody.